Hello and welcome to Auto Club Speedway. We're doing some seat open here tonight and in a way celebrating Auto Club Speedway as it is currently a two mile oval. Uh, of course, in real life, it will be the last running of this configuration, I guess you could say, this uh, current layout as they will be changing it to a short track. But it will forever live on, I hope for at least a long time <laughs> on iRacing. One of the nice things about living in the virtual world here. So there's always that, thankfully. But for now, we are doing some C-Open and uh, using some OSR setups as usual. But we've actually got a qualifying setup for once. It seems like they have... Uh, They've kind of started doing some qualifying setups in addition to race setups. I suppose it's for Road to Pro, but works just as well here in the standard C Open series. I would do Road to Pro, but uh, I don't really schedule whenever I do iRacing. I kind of just decide, now sounds like a fun time to do some races, and then I go on here. <laughs> so I don't really like think like, oh, Road to Pro happens at 5 p.m. on this day, because usually that is just a day I'm working. So the only reason I can make, green, green, green. for example, like Nick's league races and stuff is just because uh, I've actually adjusted my work schedule to make them. So that's pretty good. <laughs> You may, uh, you may notice I'm not actually driving very fast right now. And that is because this Q setup seems to be set up, set up, set up, for one lap, because it will explode very quickly because of the 98% tape I have on here. And in fact, it was at 100%, but I was worried <laughs> that I wasn't going to be able to get a lap in. And I think the way to do it here is just take it easy the first lap, almost like it's a super speedway. So that way you're not riding those temperatures up too high. And pardon me while I focus just a little bit. Um, uh oh, the tips are pretty high. Please last for the rest of the lap, truck. Oh, uh, did I mess this up? Oh my god. Hang in there. You can do it. Hang in there, truck. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. That'll work. Ooh, let's see how long it would have uh, taken for it to blow up. I'm proud of you, truck. Hanging in there. Um, so, obviously, yeah, the tip will just get real high. Yeah, see, I'm smoking now. I didn't make it much longer. But it is. it does seem decently fast. For one lap. <laughs> right now we have uh, got ourselves a fifth place, but there's a nice handful of people behind us, and usually we're not too competitive in these higher strength of field open races, because we never have a qualifying setup. So hopefully we'll get ourselves a nice decent starting position here. I was going to do a pit in practice, but we're going a little slower than we would normally be. Okay, Colton, your water and your oil are both looking pretty hot right But now. I did practice that already a little bit. I'm pretty confident in where my breaking point will be for all that. Now we'll definitely need to make sure we get this setup off of it and get the correct one on. I've, I've amassed quite a collection of OSR and maybe a couple other setups sprinkled in there. But uh, everything's looking pretty normal here. I added 1% of tape as I tend to do. It's like my good luck charm, add a percent of tape. If I ever win a photo finish, it's that percent of tape that did it. Don't you forget it. <laughs> but we've dropped to P6 for now. I'm okay with that. I've also noticed that the uh, actual race setup is pretty loose. So I'm going to have to be careful on pulled tires especially. But that's good. That'll hopefully keep it on the right rear. Um... Something that was kind of interesting, I had to practice two different setups, right? I had to practice how it felt for qualifying, 
And then I also had to see what the race setup felt like. So that was a little bit of an interesting difference, something different I had to do. Because then again, I don't normally have a qualifying setup. So I had to feel out both of them, figure out how they felt. And uh, even though we're P8, I know I was not going to get in the 39s without a qualifying setup. Having practiced uh, with the race setup, I definitely was not getting down that low. So I'll take that, definitely. If I uh, had driven just a little bit better, I probably could have gotten to the point eights, maybe the point sevens. Maybe there's something I'm doing wrong, but I don't think there was much of a chance anyway. It is a pretty strong strength of field here. 3.1. Not too shabby. We have the number four truck. And I think patience is going to have to be part of it here. Lots of drafting, not very much lifting at Auto Club in these trucks, as they are quite low powered for such a large track. Just triple checking, cut the right setup in. That's a good way to take a, yourself out of a race immediately, is to have the wrong setup in. So I'm going to I'm going to be real easy early on especially so that way I'm not self spinning and uh you know give give room this place will always seem to promote three wide or more given how wide it is and uh not very much lifting like I mentioned before got draft going to be playing a big part and uh, with that extra speed, I will have to keep an eye on the temperatures, see how that's going. But I don't think it's too concerning, because even if it starts running a little bit hot, I'll just lift off a little bit more. Maybe get out of the draft a little bit, get out of the dirty air. And uh, if anything, just sink tires for a minute. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Uh. Hello Perky. All right. Man, I just want to get to bed. Whoever's doing sex moments, put it No idea what's going on in chat. But starting on the outside, I, I kind I think I'm good with that. Get a wider no, arc into the corner. Help, uh, help me not self-spin the thing, because it really does want to snap a little bit. That's enough of that. <laughs> I'll turn that back on later if I even remember. But we'll be watching that purple truck up there. See when they decide to go. And 60 laps here at Auto Club. Really going to be interesting whenever they do reconfigure this place, because it's going to be a pretty short, short track. I think it was, like, described as kind of a Richmond-shaped, like, Martinsville-type thing, I think. It's been a while since I kind of was reading about what they're going to do to the track, but it's going to be pretty short, I think. And they're putting a decent amount of money into it. It'll, it'll be interesting to see what it ends up looking like, because a lot of time you think short track, you think like the uh, the small town, like grassroots type racing. But then you've got uh, a big facility being built here in California. Maybe you'll end up looking something more like a uh, Bristol or something. Not sure. Haven't looked too much into it, what they're going to do with it, but will be interesting at least, though I think I will always prefer this larger version just because that's the kind of racing I tend to enjoy more. Not that it'll be any better or worse objectively, About to go but green. Stay focused. Uh, I, I actually quite like this place how it is, so let's, uh, let's get racing on it. The inside lane decides not to go today, I guess. There's past two people. That was interesting. Okay. 
Six kind of drifts up in front of me. I have to lift off for him. That's fine. Not really trying to do anything too crazy early on here. Lifting off, feeling out the truck. Stops all right. Let's be all right. Trying to block, just trying to take my line through the uh, front stretch here. No self spins that I've seen. Everyone's holding on to it so far. That six looking for a pass. It looked like he kind of peeked out there and then maybe lifted off. Careful with guys right on my rear end. That could easily cause some uh, disturbance. Get the truck even looser. So I've got to be ready for that feeling. Okay, he wants to dive it in. That's fine. As long as he keeps his line, it's not too concerning. Not too worried about track position right now. Just trying to get some laps in. That one's getting loose in front of me though. I'm gonna be trapped. Breaks my momentum real bad. They're gonna be three wide, it looks like maybe. Gonna lift off, so I'm ready to deal with that situation. They're almost four wide. It's okay. I'm okay. Give him some space. Oh my god. Yeah, that's why. Don't need to be uh, too close to be able to react to something like that. All right, running bottom. Trying to keep the wheel kind of straight. Keeping in the draft. All keys to what we're doing here. I'm getting some push from all those cars, all those trucks in front of us. Kind of getting in that dirty air, pushing on us. I don't really want to lose these guys though. I want to be in their draft. It's going to be some important speed, I think. Let's see if I can get down below the dirty air, make up some time a little bit. Okay, it wasn't so bad there. I think I got below what was going to make me feel tight. Just don't want to lose them, that's all. I think that draft will be important. So I think they're going to drive away from us otherwise. It's going to look a little bit like super speedway racing. Those temperatures getting a little higher. Like I said, going to have to keep an eye on that. Guy behind is uh, thankfully giving up. Well, I was going to say giving us some push so we can keep up, but uh, I guess he's going to pass us instead. Not sure where he plans on going. Got like a four tire slide up there, that can't be good for that guy's long run. I really prefer not to be side by side, I'm afraid we're going to lose these guys if we do this too much. Just gonna hang on to me down there. It's a little frustrating. Just trying to keep up with them right now. Okay, you should go. Why is he like? Leaving to the left. Oh, okay. Dra catching the draft. I gotcha. <laughs> I didn't see that that other guy was down a lane lower. I'm like, what is he trying to break my draft? I was kind of confused. 
Okay, okay. We'll keep this guy's draft then. Help him keep up with him. Feeling okay. That feels good. Getting lots of good rotation mid corner. That's what I like. Do we have just the, like the leader hanging out pretty far up there? We sure do. That's interesting. He's like not even needing the draft, I guess. I wonder if he's got long run pace too, or if he's kind of got like a, a shorter run setup. We'll see how how his race turns out. Maybe he'll just run away from us the whole time. I've been using the apron. You kind of have to, it's kind of awkward here using the apron because you have to come back up and, to get your angle on the corner. It never really feels like you get much from it. But hey, uh, at least uh, we've kept up with this group for the most part. Got about a second behind. Those guys are kind of struggling to keep up. They're trying their best. That's what I wanted to try to avoid. It's losing these guys. It's going to be really hard for them to catch up. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Three sets of tires. We'll come in and get some. Catch up. 11. Car. 14.4 Not quite there on fuel, it would seem. Not sure what happened there, I couldn't really see it. Maybe someone got tight and uh, couldn't quite hold their line as they were side by side. Looks like someone got hooked into the wall, maybe. So we'll get a set of fresh tires once we catch up to the field here, we'll do some pit stops. We'll gain two spots from that wreck, and I'm not sure we're uh, going to be seeing those two guys again either, because I imagine they probably got some serious damage from that. One of them for sure I know did, because they went, they went tumbling. Open. All right, everything's checked. I don't think we can make it on fuel after filling it up here. We'll have to see what it says. So unfortunately, no, not too long of a run there. We've got some racing in, but not too much. Is pitting. Watch your speed. Pit lane speed limit is 55 miles per hour. We think we'll need to stop again. Richie's saying we'll need to stop again. Pit box team, 10. 5. 3. 2. 1. Right here. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? A centimeter forward. 93-93, <laughs> I'm very happy with that. Keeping those tires even. I like it. We'll try to do a little bit more of that. Go, go, go! Don't think we uh, lost any spots or anything. Uh, I don't know, did that guy speed? Is he letting people buy? I'm not sure. But, uh... 
7.2, yeah, we'll definitely need to come in again. We're not saving that much. No, sir, no way. We will save some fuel, though, in case we get a couple of quick cautions where we don't want to come in to get fuel. Or don't want to come in to get tires and then lose track position and stuff. But if we get a couple of cautions, maybe we can save enough. Can't hurt. Four course yellow. Pits are open. So it looks like we're actually in P5. Even though I kind of went past my box a little bit, I think we must have passed some guys that had bad stops or got penalties. And then, of course, the guys that wrecked helped us go from 9th to 7th. Aye, sir. You'll be lining up okay, on the inside. Race will resume at the end of this lap. The mute, I don't know if he's trying to say something to me, and that's why he's so close, but maybe he's just lining up. He's not saving fuel. He sounds like he's in first gear. Yeah, I was, I was in the split where Ashton Crowder just parked it. Wait, Ashton Crowder is in road to pro? I thought he was... Still running in the Coke series. Not sure. No. And not sure what we've been missing out on. A one week suspension for it. Believe it or not. Six point eight gallons. Yep. Literally parked it on track on purpose to bring out a caution and took a head on collision from the lead pack and only got one week. Sounds like they've had <laughs> some interesting experiences. But if you say bad words and say you have connections, you're banned for years. Don't say thing. All right, here we go again. Get ready, going green. I'm surprised Ashton's even allowed on the service. To be honest, with you. the ice car is in. He's pulled so much crap. Couldn't see it all. Now I am the reason the inside lane's not going this time. Sorry, I, I was really trying to see. Get through turn one and two. Oh, loose trucks, loose trucks, very loose trucks. Very interesting, very scary, very turn. Oh my god. <laughs> that guy uh, almost headed down pit road. I'm telling you, these things are unsettled early on. We had a little bit of smoke ahead again. I don't think it was the 9, I think it was a couple trucks ahead of them. Even though the 9 got loose too. Just trying my best to keep up right now. Again, draft is going to be big. But you want to make sure you're here. You're in the battle. distance behind us not sure what happened back there maybe I don't know was there contact all of a sudden they were not so close behind me anymore having to drive a little bit harder just to make sure that I keep up with these guys I'll have to worry about tire saving later because I have the luxury to do that I can worry about tire saving later I can't catch up to their draft again later if I lose it or at least I don't have control over that, so just gonna try. Just gonna have to do what I need to do. Keep up close enough to him. Like this 11 keeps trying to pass. We gotta just 
I think the best thing to do here is just stay in line, like it's a super speedway. You start battling too long, you're gonna lose any chance you had of keeping up with everybody. I think you just gotta think long term. So that was the 11 battling me earlier. Because look, now look at this gap that's, that's showing up. Because these guys going side by side are not going very fast. Pretty good about where I am though. He's six. I think I'm able to lift off pretty well on entry, get it, get the exit speed if possible. I think that should be better on the tires, theoretically. Didn't have a very good corner there, so I got a little bit loose, but rather loose than tight, I guess. On 11, just gonna hang out behind him though. We got this three trying to keep up with us. He's obviously gonna have a pretty good truck, I think. He, he might, I think he might have been the guy that got loose. I think he uh, is a truck that should be running up here. He's just trying his best to catch back up. 11 getting sideways. That was a very big moment for him there. Three's got us in the draft. But behind him, they are not uh, keeping up. Three's really overdriving entry. I feel like his right friend's gonna be hurting. Unless he's got a super loose setup or something that's, uh, that needs a little bit of right front abuse to keep it even. Not sure. Said take it right here, and then he didn't lift completely off. Now we're side by side. Okay. Lost some time. Can we keep in the draft of this nine up here? The three should be able to help us. Obviously, he's gonna be fast. I just I don't understand why the eleven said take it, and then ran side by side with me, but <laughs> that's fine. I think we should be able to catch back up. I feel like we got pretty good drive through the center of the corner, for example. The nine's kind of going up and down <laughs> over the apron. I just got to be doing nothing but slowing him down, right? I don't know. Running at 32 here. Running lower than most guys. Maybe that's the wrong way to do it. Seems to be okay for me. I might let this three by just so I can follow him. I think he's got a faster truck, so I can just take his speed. Nine up there gets loose. Not gonna bump draft, but we are gonna push him a little bit with air. Uh, he's running much higher than I am. 
Well, we got three trucks. That should make us fast, right? Theoretically. Uh, 15, you gotta give me some room. Okay. Oh, got loose. Inside, inside. Oh, there goes the 11 again. Still there, inside. Still there, hold your line. Clear inside. Drafted in R. Fine. Just, I, all I want to do is stay in this draft. Kind of binds up a little bit early in the corner and then center and then all of a sudden kind of late center of the corner it starts turning real well Approaching halfway. Six, point, six I'll have to think about when we need to pit. If it's going to come to that. Our uh, truck's a little bit tight right there. So if we pit a lap 14, and about 14 and halfway, 44, and about 45 maybe? I don't know, does that sound about right? Maybe. And we're gonna lose this guy though. Our temperatures have been fine. I almost feel like I want to add another percentage to that. That does absolutely nothing but makes me feel like it's doing something. Oh man, we got a four tire slide right there. Yeah, this is tough. mimic their line a little bit. It's, it's really not doing anything for me, though. I, I don't have the same drive-off that they're getting. I'm struggling. Truck's getting way too tight. I'm having a rough time. The 9 looks like they're having a rough time, too, to be fair. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. Uh -huh. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Got some time behind us at least. Stinks that we're losing this draft, but there's not much I can do about it right now. Just keep swapping spots ahead of me. That's gonna help bring them back to me, I think. They're gonna keep doing that. The 11 just loves passing. <laughs> I just love passing. He just can't help himself. I just, I think I've gotta run this lower line. It's just working for me much better. Everyone else is running up higher. It's. I, just, I can't get that to work the same way. Obviously, low line's not working too well for me either, but it's better than what the uh, higher line's doing for me. I think uh, turn three and four are actually pretty nice for me. It might be because it's in the shade right there. Feels like I got more grip. And I noticed there's that shadow. It might be the track's cooler right there, and it's helping me grip up. Driver in front. 
those guys jump. We got a battle for the lead up there. In fact, we got about three contenders for the lead. Looks like it. I like that they're not out of view, at least. Makes me feel a little better. This might be another uh, case of super speedway parallels. You might want to pit when the other guys do. I'm saying draft so much that you would have swore this was a super speedway, but I think that's really going to be key. We started feeling a little bit loose down there. Chuck's pretty temperamental right now. If I drive a little bit higher up the track, it starts feeling tight. If I go a little lower on the track, it starts getting uh, loose. So it's uh, it's an interesting juxtaposition. I don't think I don't feel like it's driving bad necessarily. I think I did a poor job handling the tires. Probably, I think it's all on me as the driver. Not sure. We're not doing bad. P7's pretty good. Okay, Colton. Your engine temperatures are looking better now. You can never tell if we're catching up to these guys or not. It feels like we are, and then uh, it just feels like their relative is just staying the same or getting larger. I think we might be catching the 11, though. Just a little bit. Kind of started driving down lower, harder on entry. And it sticks better than it was earlier. Oh, wow, he's going in the pits. It's a little early, I think, isn't it? I'm not so sure about that. I'm going to go in when the leaders do, I think. I imagine they're probably going to come in in a group. That stinks, though, because I was going to start getting his draft again pretty soon. I don't think we're catching the 9 like we were catching the 11. Maybe that's why the 11 decided he had to pit now. Because he was really feeling like he was falling off. Chief says the car behind is catching. They've been keeping kind of at like a 2.5 though. It seems like. I don't, I don't know if I'm too worried about that. Is that 11 coming out right now? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Huge tight moment. It just stopped turning. Maybe that's what the 11 was feeling. That did not feel good at all. That was unexpected. Because that point in the corner, in previous laps, it was feeling loose, if anything. And all of a sudden, right there, it was just no more turning. We will have the 11 coming back up again. He should be able to pass me. Get back in He'll be able to take advantage of that. Car outside. Passing on my outside. Still there. Clear. Man, I've got a tight truck and you're going to pass me on the outside on exit. That sounds a little sketchy to me, but it's okay. I'm not even going to be able to keep up with this draft or anything, because... Late decision! Look out for the pit speed limit. Okay, Colton, we'll fill you to the end of the race. Okay. That works. I could only do that because I had room behind me. Pit box in. 10. 5. Five. Three. 2. 
one right here don't overshoot it this time all right that was a sketchy pit entry uh, we were harder on the right front that time uh, but I saw two people pitting in and I'm like now I got to do it I got to do it and uh, it was later than my normal breaking point okay go the lead, the lead is pitting now Car pit. you only have one five step remaining it was later than my normal breaking point, and uh, I was very scary. I barely was able to slow down enough. So I'm glad that worked out. That was pretty risky the way I did that, but it's all good. Everything's okay. We're going to get bump draft. It's fine. I could see it coming, so I knew uh, had it on the way. This is exactly what I wanted, though. I wanted a draft partner whenever I uh, got back out here. And that was, uh, for as scary as that pit entry was, it's pretty good. It was obviously pretty fast. We caught up to a guy that was much farther ahead of us. He's real loose back there. I gotta remember I added a percent of tape, too, which is probably gonna do nothing. But, uh,. We'll keep an eye on it. So, is everybody up there, Pit? Looks like a couple guys came in the next lap. We got the leader behind us, so I guess we're not a lap down. That's cool. Good on fuel. I would hope so. Sixth place at the moment. I use the C maybe. Get a little bit of turn. I don't know. Find myself wishing we were farther up there. with the bump draft so long as they are coming at expected times and are on the straightaway and such. I don't think we have any chance to catch him up there, though, do we? Hmm. Probably 11, okay. Let's see if it's him. Will we be able to catch up to his older tires? It's like he's fallen off of any draft ahead of him. We should be able to catch him. Alright. So, last, I assume that's probably one of the last, if not the last, holdouts. I don't know if our lap times are even going to be much shorter on fresh tires. I don't know if it makes a huge difference. It is nice not being in that arrow, in that dirty air. The three must have gotten a penalty, because he's a lap down. I'm going to give him the bottom. I thought he was going to be able to stick it a little bit better than that, but we get him by us. I'll take, a, I'll take some free draft from a fast truck, sure. Okay. Guess he wants to pass us now. Still 
What are you doing, man? We just got this freebie, and now you're just gonna fight me? Now we're gonna lose the three. I don't understand the timing of that. We could have had a three truck draft going. I guess maybe he has given up. I'm being able to uh, keep up or catch up. I don't know. Just let him clear me now. Oh well. We have no one immediately behind us. Uh, real fresh tires. In fact, that goes all the way back to nine seconds. Not sure if we're gonna see the people that stayed out really long, like whoever was the leader, but you never know. Nine thinks he's faster than he, uh, he can go ahead. He just looks to be getting loose a bunch to me. Still catching that 11, though. I like that. I think if we catch him, we should be able to get by him without too much trouble because he obviously pit pretty early. I'm getting loose all over the place. Come on, man. You passed me. Go. Wanted the spot that bad. You doing all the way down the track here, man? It's frustrating me a little bit, to be honest. But if I get by him, he's just gonna fight it, I guess, because apparently he wants to be in front of me. And I, what I don't want is to fight back and forth over and over again. So I'm just gonna push him. We should be able to catch this 11 still, I hope. Both had a pretty good corner there. The 11's got the uh, draft of the three right now, but I don't think he'll be able to keep up with that forever. I don't know, maybe we won't catch this 11. We're not really gaining on him as much as thought we were. Then again, once we do catch him, we'll be, we'll catch up even faster. I'm gonna keep trying to work with this nine. Friends where you find them on super speedways. I guess uh, same holds true for Auto Club too. We've gotta work together with this nine if we want a chance to battle with the eleven. 
before the end of this one. We only got six laps though. Tires are definitely not too happy anymore. I didn't want to grip up that corner, that's for sure. You got five laps to go. Keep them coming. Nine's having a bad corner. He slid all the way through it. Just gonna push him. I do think he's faster than me right now. He's got a truck that gets looser instead of tighter, but he's really struggling, man. It's just not enough. Run a little bit higher, maybe. Trying to get it to work. It's not. I don't want to get on his inside, I really don't. It's funny, I'm getting, uh, Fast corners by running the low side, and I'm getting the runoff because he's getting the runoff. Kind of getting the best of both worlds when it comes to the corners. Man, only five laps left of fuel. Eleven kind of cut it close. Assuming uh, we put a full tank in, we probably didn't actually. Oh god, it stopped turning. Well, shoot. It did that thing again where it just stopped turning. <laughs> we'll see if the 9 can go get him. But uh, my truck has given up. He might get him. He's got If he can hold it straight here and not get loose, he's got to run off maybe. He's within half a second. I don't think he's going to make it, though. The gap to Warren ahead is increasing. It's now 1.0 seconds. Dang. <laughs> oh, well, that was pretty fun. Trying to work together to catch the 11. We get P6, which is very nice. As the 4 truck, okay, the we apparently are going to lose one I rating or so. Which, no fair, man. I feel like this was a good run. But oh well. Uh, I'll definitely take it. It was it was a good time. Nice. Alright. Pull it on over. Not too bad. Who ended up winning? It was the two. That makes sense. It was really dominant, especially that first run. And of course, we got ourselves a zero incident race, too. Always nice. 82, 89. We were definitely pushing it there. So that's not too... Oops, excuse me. 
Not too surprising. We move forward two spots from our qualifying. I'm very happy with that run. We didn't make a pit mistake, even though I tried. I went in super hard, but... That's okay. We made it. And we'll see what incidents happened. We'll see what caused the one caution. It was cool it went green to the end there, and we still ended up having green flag pit stops. Those are always my f one of my favorite parts when strategy kicks in. So, lap three, the 12 getting loose up there, too far down the track, almost causes a disaster, but they figure it out. Whoop. <laughs> I don't think that, uh, can't see what number that is. Is that a one? A seven? I think that's the one. I don't know if you knew that the three was up there. Until the last second. Seven just gets on the outside. Oh, that's what happened. Wow. He's doing crazy things. He's driving on top of the wall. That's what happened. Okay, so... Seven's getting in a run and decides he wants to go to the outside. And then he's not even on the high side. He's in the guy's lane. Like, that's... I've seen the seven wreck a lot of people lately. I'm just gonna leave it at that, but... Yeah, he's just he's driving in the guy's lane. Like, if you're gonna go to the outside, go to the outside. This is the lane that you've chosen, so go into it. Am I wrong? Like, I don't know. But uh, it certainly didn't turn out too great for him. Thumbnail's probably going to include that in some capacity. And those are two guys we might not have uh, beaten had that not happened. So they definitely got some major damage and are out of contention. Then lap 17, it looks like we'll probably just get some wall here, not even. 10 wall, that's all we got. That guy gets a loose in front of the three. That's what happened, I think, whenever I saw that they uh, lost some time behind me. I thought I noticed they dropped off quite a bit. Fuck's not turning for him up there. Ooh, he gets stuck to the wall, too. That's not great for him. Three wide on lap 27. Some kind of turns down on them for some reason. I think that they just had different turn in points. I think maybe the 10 was trying to turn in using, uh, well, actually, no, that's way too early. Yeah, the 10 just wasn't quite by the wall. I think the 15 actually was just trying to come up to maximize the corner, and the 10 wasn't by the wall. So, just a little bit of miscommunication there. That's a wall. I think as the run goes on, we'll probably see more and more wall. As guys do four tire slides and, ooh, both get into each other there too. Probably damage both trucks. Yeah, they look like they're having those moments like I did just a couple of times where it just stops turning completely. And there you just, I don't know what that was. Holding on to it. He's holding on to it too. He's getting real loose. Not too much going on. Still only lap 49. If they could track this way, you guys wouldn't have to fall so much. <laughs> Especially on the straightaway. That backstretch is kind of interesting though it's really bumpy back there i've noticed it seems to like the walls want to pull you toward them on that back stretch just something about the way the bumps are and this is me look at that thing just not turning at all and i swear i did the same thing i did the past 50 laps or so i don't know what was different it felt like i was gripping up all the way until about right here it looks like i hit a bump and it like set my angle off and then just wasn't turning anymore so that's me getting up into the wall. Wasn't wide enough for me. And uh, that was the last thing that happened in the race. The one parks behind the winner. Probably tried to give him a congratulations tap right there, but he exited out. And uh, that was it for the race. So we get ourselves a P6. I'm happy with that for sure. I think we ran ourselves a pretty good race. Uh, I think I succeeded in doing... 
what I wanted to do and what I felt was important, which was staying in the draft. And uh, it was a little bit hard on the tires. I might have had to work a little harder to keep up with the guys, but um, the draft worked hard for me in return. Kept me up there and managed to... Uh, let's take a look at that pit entry before I forget. Because we gained a whole bunch of time on the guy ahead doing that. And uh, it was essentially a mistake. I did not do it very well. So look how far ahead he is. And then that is not how you're supposed to do that. But now I'm right behind him. <laughs> Crazy. And it worked out too because I even got out of the pits before he did and overtook him. And then for the rest of the race, we were working together, basically. Helping prevent anyone else behind us from catching. And we almost got ourselves up to the 11. I think a couple more laps and we would have done it, but... Uh, not so... Uh, not so much. But I'll uh, take a 6. A 6th place for sure. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, be sure to tune in, if you liked this, to the full 100% length League Race truck NIS hosted by Nick Nieben and Nieben5. It'll be this same combo and I'll probably be using the same setups too. So hopefully they work pretty well there as well. And uh, I hope to see you there. I appreciate you being here for this one. I'll be seeing you.